Okay guys, um, I'm going to do a video here on how to install AMS2 mods. Uh, first two things you will need are uh, the generic mod enabler, JSJME, and the boot files from Automobilisa2 that can be found here, Project Cars Modding Team website. Uh, you can download them directly from the downloads AMS2. So once you download those, uh, yeah, you just go into to your downloads. Um, you'll have the files here. All you'll do is extract them. Um, I have two mods here. This one already has boot files and and JSGME added, but uh, that's not the difficult part. The difficult part is, you know, how do you install it into the game? So basically what you will want to do is go into your game directory, uh, whatever drive, Steam library, Steam apps, common, AMS2, and here you will want to create a mods folder. I believe uh, the generic mod enabler will create this folder for you by itself, uh, but you can also create one uh, yourself if you want. And in here in the directory, you will also, well, at least that's where I dropped the, the executable for the generic mod enabler. Uh, once you have your mods folder and your executable within the directory, uh, you will go into your mods folder. And this is where you will be uh, dropping all your mods in, as well as the boot files. So we'll have boot files and then all the other cars and mods that you wish to enable. All right, and you see I have the Audi GTO and the uh, Camaro GTO from VRC, as well as some of Thunder Flash's mods. And here we have the IndyCar. So when you have the IndyCar mod, um, you'll extract it and then inside the folder you'll want to copy this and you will paste that into your mods folder within the directory you will just drag and drop it into here mm -hmm. and you'll do this will be the same for every single mod that you do uh, including the VRC ones uh, next is the hardest part um, so what you will do and that means that requires changing the uh, adding lines into a couple of folders. And these are the drive line and vehicle list folder. These are located within the boot files. First thing you will do is go into boot files, uh, vehicles, and all the way at the bottom here we have vehicle list. You'll open that up. And this is the entire vehicle list for the game. And now all the way at the very bottom, that's where we're gonna start copying and pasting uh, files. So what I like to do is have make a copy of this vehicle list and have it set on a desktop or in a separate folder and then just drag and drop it into the boot files. So that way if you have multiple mods from different makers then uh, you don't have to keep going back and forth every time there's an update and redoing this whole step. You just have a master, drag and drop it. Okay, so uh, where do you get these? Uh, these are located in the readme file for the car. Uh, every mod will have them, so you just open up the readme. This is it for the any car, and it gives us some lines in the vehicle's subfolder uh, for car list. You'll copy these, and then in the within the boot files in this vehicle list here, within the mods folder. You open that up, and this is it. And then you scroll all the way to the very bottom, and you can see they are all just pasted in here. Once you do that, copy those, paste them in here, save it, close. Um, at this point, might be best to make the copy of that on, in a separate folder or on your desktop for future um, for any future updates. Now here, this is the other folder we need to get to, is driveline. 
So within boot files, vehicle is the very bottom, still in vehicles, we go up to physics, open that up, driveline, open that up, and uh, here we go, driveline text, uh, notepad folder. Again, we do exact same thing. Go to this uh, very bottom, and in here, it gives us the destination folder. Just copy this and paste it in in this folder, save, and that's literally it. Once you have that done, you can close those. Here, let me get to the folder. Okay. Once you have those done, you have your boot files and then any uh, car mods in this folder. What you do is you go to your generic mod enabler and open that up. This is what it will look like. Um, here I have them all installed. But these will, all these will be on the list over here for available mods. And then what you do first is you will generally activate the boot files first and then start uh, doing all the vehicle mods over one by one. And you'll get some errors or things that will like pop up when you activate it. Here, let's see. This one does it. Yeah, you know, just you'll generally get an error or something that will pop up uh, when activating these mods. You just click yes. See, there we go. Just click yes. And that'll activate the car for the game. And once they're all done, again, doing boot files first and then vehicles. Uh, you just hit close. Other vehicles like the VRCs, um, they recommend doing the car first, then the boot files. I don't know if the order really matters. But after you're done with that, just close. Start up AMS2 and um, yeah, you're good to go. I will have links to uh, downloads for the generic mod enabler and the boot files in the in the description as well as where to get the new IndyCar mod for AMS2 which is also on race department. Alright, good luck and hope to see you on track.